All right, now what you're seeing right here is the church of on the on your left hand side is the church of uh this the uh, Mariam the Sion Beta Christian or the Church of uh Saint uh Mary of Zion Church in Aksum. And what you're looking at over here on the right hand side is the is the first um is the first mosque the first uh mosque of Islam in Africa, which is located in Ethiopia, is called the Al Najashi, the Al Najashi Masjid, and Najashi is the Arabic way of saying Nugus or Nagush, Nagash, Nagashi, Nugus. All that related when you get into the linguistics of it. Now, there's some um, Ethiopian um, Mohammedans or Muslims who are uh, we say trying to start problems because they're trying to deny the history. Now, we, when we know the history, we know that there is a mosque, and, and the, the mosque that's near Aksum, it refers to the immigration in the year 615 of a group of the Prophet, Prophet Muhammad's followers or Sahaba. They were the first to enter into Islam, and when Muhammad was being persecuted, by his um his tribe his tribe of people the Quraysh and it was getting very violent and very dangerous for those first followers of the prophet Muhammad what he did was he looked around for a safe place a place where people were um true believers you know in their religion and he found Ethiopia and he found this particular city right here in Aksum this is a painting of Aksum in its heydays with its um what we call it the circumcised the uh, stellas or how how let how let touch or the obelisk and th that's another teaching right there but this is the holy city of ancient Ethiopian orthodoxy or of the Ethiopic church or the Ethiopic or the Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahido Beta Christian. So now the question is this is when will the Ethiopian Orthodox Church be allowed to establish a church or build a church in Mecca? Not why Muslims are banned from building a mosque in Ethiopia, because we clearly have the evidence right here. And this is evidence that goes back to the 7th century of the first mosque in Africa. This is the first mosque in Africa. Ask any Muslim or Mohammedan who should know the story of his religion. And Ethiopia was the place that basically saved the first Ethiopia, the first um that saved the first uh, Mohammedans or the first Muslims. And Mohammed, their prophet, chose Ethiopia because they were blameless, they were faithful in their, in, in their faith. And there's a movie, as we mentioned before, The Messenger, which kind of um, has a good scene, a couple of good scenes there we featured in some of the older videos. So it's, it's um, strictly propaganda when you see an article like this that alleges that um, it is the the so-called um, present Ethiopian government. All the present Ethiopian government is doing is actually sticking to the the ancient the ancient um, agreement. The ancient agreement. Remember, this is where we talk about people being ungrateful. I mean, this is where it really makes many of us. Ethiopians and Hebrews at home and abroad really question many things because if it was not for Ethiopia, people say that well, Mohammedans will say well it was Allah, but obviously their Allah, their God, told their prophet to go to Ethiopia because these people were close to God and it was Ethiopia that protected and in a sense nurtured the the first Muslims in history, the first followers of the prophet Muhammad. So, this mosque that we speak of, the Al-Najashi, it refers to that immigration or hijra, that flight that took place in, uh, in and around 615 of a group of the Sahaba or followers of the prophet Muhammad, the first to enter into the the Dino Islam, the faith of, of Islam. And they entered in um, northern Ethiopia into a city called Aksum. Now, Aksum is not just the ancient capital city 
of Ethiopia, of Ethiopia, but it is a holy city of Ethiopian Christians at home and abroad. In other words, so that the Mohammedans might understand, it is likened unto our Mecca. It is like your Mecca is to you, the Aksum is to us. So stop the propaganda. As his majesty even said in his time, he says, stop the propaganda. Because we all know the story of how the first followers of Muhammad, they sought refuge and they found refuge from the persecution of the Quraysh tribe of the prophet Muhammad, who was persecuting Muhammad and these first followers of the prophet. They lived there under the protection of the Christian Ethiopian emperor, whose name, according to the Mohammedan sources, is Ashama Ibn Abjah, but he's also known as Al-Najashi or Najashi, who denied the Quraysh, uh, the Mohammedan's persecuting brothers who wanted to kill them, the request to hand the refugees back to the Quraysh in Arabia, in El Ghor, who they would have, you know, they would have persecuted and probably killed them because they did kill other followers of the Prophet Muhammad. So when you hear about these, this lie, they want to build in our holy city, well, allow the Ethiopian Orthodox to build a church in Mecca. You understand? Respect and recognize that our holy city is as holy to us and for us, it's even more holy to us as your holy city is to y'all and is to you all. So the question is, when will Saudi and Saudi Arabia allow the Ethiopian Orthodox Church to build a church in Mecca? Or let's start off anywhere in Saudi Arabia. Think about that for a moment, because Ethiopia, a Christian nation, from such a time in the 7th century allowed the Muslims or the Mohammedans to build a mosque. And this is the evidence right here of the first mosque in Africa that's located in Ethiopia, the al the al Najashi Masjid, near, which is near, it's near Aksum, but it is not in Aksum because Aksum, just like Mecca, is our holy city is an Ethiopian, Judaic, Hebrew, holy city of our people at home and abroad. So this whole controversy, this controversy is obviously being instigated by so-called outside um, um, Islamo-fascists and other forces that are trying to cause um, true Ethiopian Muslims and Christians to fight and argue amongst themselves about some other kind of thing that we see going on in the world. But Ethiopia shows us this example from the 7th century of a peaceful cohabitation. We need to remember that and be reminded of that even in this uh, present day and time. Like we said, this article, this article is out there. Um, check it out for yourself. And um, tell us what you think about this. Is it not fair if the Mohammedans want a, a masjid?